Hey, it's your boy G Pat and Chirac. Please don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. As everybody know, Lil Dirk has been locked up for allegedly uh putting some money down, murder for hire. So as you can see, Mayor Brandon Johnson has took a hundred and fifty thousand dollar donation to his campaign fund by Lil Dirk. And he's put under fire by a news reporter. So Brandon Johnson, that's why Lil Dirk was back moving around in Chicago doing um shows back in Chicago. Cause you remember Lil Dirk and Chief Keef and them, shout out to those guys. They were all banned from the city of Chicago. Cause you know, they showed every time they have a show here, somebody get hurt. That was Lil Dirk last show he did in Chicago. The little guy, what was he from? I don't know if it was Aurora or Elgin, but anyway, rest in peace to that guy. He was robbed and unalive. So that's crazy. So that's how Lil Dirk was roaming around the city like that. Mayor Brandon Johnson allegedly gave the okay. So enough of me talking. Here's the news clip. circumstances and details around right. um, you know these accusations what I do know though is is that um, Lil Dirk's um, mission to um, build financial literacy for children across the city and making other critical investments uh, for the for the for the children of this city He's done. where his heart you know has been and I mean there's no secret to um, the trauma that grew up in and how he has worked to turn that trauma um, into opportunities um, for other for other people. He was given uh, about a month after uh, taking office a $150,000 campaign donation from him. Do you feel like you should donate that to charity or uh, do something with that money if it's tainted? Well, I mean, you know, look, um, you know, I don't operate in feelings, you know, I operate in truth and justice. And again, I don't know all the circumstances around um, these accusations, but again, what I do know for sure is that, you know, here's um, another example of a young black man who grew up in severe trauma that led to life choices that he has been very open and vocal about um, healing from those choices. It's why he's been committed um, to finding um, his righteous path, um, seeking out, you know, truth and justice through his faith, while also investing in behavior and mental health support uh, for individuals. Look, our the, the what would you do with the money? Well, as, as I said, um, right now we have allegations, right, that he has not been tried. And, and I, look, I understand the question. I don't, I don't want you to think that I don't understand the question. I'm just saying. Well, answer it. You're, you're asking me a question about someone who has worked to transform his life. Okay. Um, who has admitted um, that he is on a journey to transformation and has not been charged with anything. But what, I'm sorry, has not been convicted of anything. And so if you're asking me if I should make a judgment on a black man before a full trial has actually come to fruition, I hope you do understand why it is not my position to to determine the outcome of someone's life, especially um, in a okay, system brother. that, quite frankly, has not been overly. Thank you, Fred. We have one more all topic question, and then we're done. Okay. So, so they want to say, they want to know, they, they want to know, they want to know right. where's that money at? They kept asking him, what you going to do with that money, man? Where that money at? He didn't put that money in his pocket already. You know, Illinois, corruption in Illinois, this is one of the corruptest states in the uh, United States of America. You know, Governor Ryan went to jail, Governor Bogoyevich. We had uh, Commissioner William Beavers was our album, but he was a good album. Shout out to him. You know, he spent a half a million dollars at the Horseshoe Casino, and they wanted him to wear a wire. On Bill Daly, he told me he's not doing it. So, it's all messed up around the place. So, that's how Lil Dirk got to start roaming around the city again. He hit the mayor's hand. So, there you have it. That's your boy G-Pat and Chirac, and I'm out.